So shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And you know that all these years of shooting 44 Magnum and 45 Colt ever since the 1970 year, I've never gotten any revolver brass that was split or otherwise damaged just by shooting. The brass seems to last forever. But recently, this GFL case in 45 Colt was the very first one that I got a split in 45 Colt or 44 Magnum caliber. So this was something of a shock when it happened. And I kind of dismissed it as being kind of a fluke. But was it? So it turns out that today I'm doing a project where I'm taking a jug of fired 45 Colt brass and I'm going to go ahead and resize them and decap them before putting them in, into the wet tumbler for polishing and cleaning. Well, now I know that a lot of you don't like to resize right away. You like to decap but not resize. And the idea is that you don't want to have any grit to cause problem for your dies. Well, with our carbide dies, the material of carbide is so hard you can't get any damage to the carbide by any kind of grit that we commonly run into. So, I don't have any problem going ahead and resizing and decapping and then going ahead and wet tumbling because then I've got resized brass that's absolutely clean for me to go to the next step. I don't have to resize them again and run them into a die twice. One time for decapping in the universal decapper die and the second time to resize. Just do it all at once and then wet tumble be done with it. So I like doing it that way. Well, turns out that as I'm running all these 45 Colt brass casings through the resizer decapping, that I can run into some brass that feels definitely more pressure required to resize that brass. And every time I had that happen, I'd look at the case and it turned out to be a GFL case. So I called all those out. And sure enough, they're all GFL cases, as you see. That's just some of that bunch. All GFL. So I'm thinking, could it be that the GFL brass is thicker? And that would explain why it takes more to resize them. But when I go ahead and measure the thickness, they're all at... 0.12 to 0.14 and that's the same as all the other types of brass Winchester, Remington, Starline, CBC. There's no difference in the brass thickness between that and the GFL case. In fact you can see the GFL case on the right is the same thickness as the other brands of brass. So then I'm thinking, could it be that the GFL brass is just more blown out than the other brands of brass? And so I measured the outside dimensions. And here is a Winchester case. You can tell from the cantilever. And the biggest dimension is 4785. Well, lo and behold, the GFL case, the biggest dimension is also 4785. No difference in outside dimensions. So I mic the other brands and they're the same. The same outside dimensions, no real difference that could explain the more difficult pressure needed to size the GFL. So let's do this. We got four casings here, one's a GFL. We just mix these up so we don't even look at them. Okay, so put the first one in. Unfortunately, that one's a Winchester. You can tell because of the cantilever. So I have to tell you, we can always identify the Winchester. So that one resized easily. Let's put the next one in. 
Now, I don't know what brand that one is. Can't tell by looking. But it resized easily. So that one is a Starline. Let's take another one. That one resized easily. And that one is a Winchester. Uh-oh, that means there's only one left. Uh, and that one definitely is harder to resize. This is the GFL. And there it is, GFL. We'll give you a close-up of that, see if I can do it without uh, keeping that in the frame. Well, well, that's what happens. That's a GFL case. Get, come on, focus. There, GFL, it's not focusing. GFL case. So we can only conclude that it, it is the composition of the particular brass that GFL uses, Fiocchi, in the 45 Colt casings that causes that brass to be a little harder than the brass used by other manufacturers and that Very might well explain that. Now certainly if I get more split cases and they all turn out to be GFL brass, well then that would be the final nail in the coffin. However, I would use as much GFL 45 Colt or 44 Magnum brass that I could get because it's still good brass, very reloadable. And if we lose a few cases because of the composition of the brass, no problem. So 40 Cookie 45 LC from the Hot Lead Zone. See you next video. Bye for now.